I never knew that the people of Akizi could dance like this. Maybe I will um, assemble some maidens of Atuma Kingdom to form a dance group. Perhaps they could make fortune from it. What do you think? That's a wonderful idea. Oh, really? But the problem now is, would they agree to form a group? And who will lead them? Perhaps I, I will tell the princess about it. Then she will um, assemble some maidens and form a dance group. And of course, we will watch them dance before us. At the end, we will select the best among them. And then the dance group is formed. That's great. That's great. <laughs> I see. Well, that means we will not get involved. We will allow the princess to handle everything. We have more important things to take care of. Oh. That reminds me, Hawaii Banzo is in the next two months, right? Oh, yes. Uh, I, see. Oh. I see. Anyway, let the youth handle the dance thing. But, but still, we, we need the entertainment in Hawaii Banzo. Yes, we do. I'm sure that the princess by then must have formed the group. It's okay. Very well, good. my husband, let me go and check what the Maidens are doing for me. They have my permission. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, did you notice her waist? How she was whining, uh, twisting, and rolling the waist? <laughs> Was it just the waist you noticed? Not really. Aside the waist, she is so beautiful. Ah, uh, I agree with you on that. What about the flute boy? Did you notice him? Like he's so good at what he does. Flute boy? Was there any boy in their midst? Did they come with any? Flute boy, because as far as I'm concerned, I only saw Odala Mita with her maidens. <laughs> Was there a boy in their midst? Seriously? But how are you supposed to notice the boy when you're busy staring at Odala's big waist? So, who was playing for them then? Well, I. I know I can trust you. I know I can confide in you. I know my secrets are safe with you. And I equally know that you will keep your mouth. If the gods permit, Udala is someone I would love to get married to. Oh my god, this is the first time I'm hearing you talking about love. Yes. You for real? This is a true confession. But let me ask do you like her in person or is it the waste you're going for? Well, in as much as I love her big waste. I think Odala is a very nice person and considering her reactions and countenance and how she treated the people with her, I am of the opinion that she will make 
a very good wife. Don't worry. I will help you. She's a dancer from Akizi. I will go for you. I will tell her you want to see her. Then you will express yourself. What could I have done in this world without you? May the gods of our land be praised for giving me a benevolent and caring sister like you. You'll make me cry. And please, I want you to go to Akeze and bring Udala to me. In the scorching sun? What is amiss? What is amiss? The fool which belongs to the gods is about to be touched. And you have to stop it. It is your duty. Yes, I know it is my duty. I know it is my duty to perform whatever. I am directed to perform by the gods. But I ask, what food are you talking about? You are, you the, are the eyes, eyes of, of the gods. gods. I do I not want to tell you everything. everything. Use, Use your third eye, eye and, and you, you will see, see what the royal, royal family, family is about to face. face. You are you the only one who can stop it. And you are the only one who can help them. I know I am the only one who can stop it. Uh, but but but, but you, you you have to you 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 still have to you you you. you. went well, very well, the royal household. In fact, they all commended us. Mm. They were so happy. You need to see the smiles on their faces, Mama, when we were dancing. When our Mama and Mama comes here, then they were just happy. I'm happy for you, my daughter. So, what about your friends? Huh? Mama, they've all gone to their houses, though. They've all gone to their houses. Yes, Mama, hey, we made so much money today. Now, go away. Simon, money, Mama. Go big, go. Mama, Simon. Wow. Mama, Simon, 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 Mama. I guess you have to share it with your friends. Share? Hey, this one is my own share. Eh? We've already shared it. Yes. And they took theirs to their own houses. All this for you? For us, Mama? Mama, take it. It's for us. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> hey, all this? Yes, sir. What is much? Ah. I know you must be having been hungry. Let's go in. I Let's trust you, Mama. Hey! Beauty. The love of my life. 
The only maiden is that makes my heart travel. <laughs> my love, our marriage was ordained in heaven even before we were born. I should not be telling you all these things, you know. Come on, come and hug me. Oh, 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 I understand. You are going to the street. <laughs> I must follow you. Afo Buluzo, please, I do not have your time. Just let me go, please. <laughs> you see, Udala, I love the way you pronounce my name. Afo Buluzo, Uzo. Do you even know why that name was given to me? It is because I am not afraid of anything. Look at me. I am fearless. You need a man like me. In fact, you are going to the stream. I must go with you. Anywhere you go today, I must go with you. Afro Bluzo, please, do not follow me, please. Uh -uh. No, no, no. <laughs> Let me go with you now. I will go. Hey, Kaja! Hey! Why my dear? Look at you. I must go. around me. <laughs> no problem. Is it not stream you are going to? I will go there and wait for you. Why are you stressing me? Why are you making things uneasy? I have told you before. Our marriage has been ordained in heaven. Even before we were born. Better come now. Come and let's contribute money and buy rings. Are you hearing me? Do not say I did not tell you. Hey. Oh, I think. Hey. I should be I going now. Lose, oh my love. Ah. I went to your house. They said you went to house. Oh, oh, oh. I've missed you so much. I've been waiting for you since. I have to come look for you here. Thank God I met you here. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Come on. Wait, will you stop that? Stop what now? I don't even know. So, so you were talking to me? Uh huh. I've been looking for you since. You don't know that I love you. You love me. Huh? I I, I seem to. I. You love me. Hey. As some man like me. Oh, you even you 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 also want something that is good, Abby. It is God that will punish you. You want to take me away from Odala, thief. Ah. I have been taken already. Ah. How many times will I tell you? Ah. Who is this? You. You are going for Udala, I am Namie. I am your type. Come for me, not Udala. Udala is not your class. <laughs> you say Udala, you are my type. Yes, na. Udala is not your class. It, na. It's like you, you have started drinking. Ah. You have started drinking. Do I look drunk? Look at you. I don't look drunk. Oh, you, you, like, you like something good too. Ah, ah. Come on, get, get out. Get out of you, this place. You, you are chasing me away. You better come for me now. If I, how did you come? I am the only love that can accept you the way you are. So accept me the way I am now. Accept me like this, just the way I want to accept you the way you are. Because you are dry. What? And I am like this. So let's just go. We, we, I am we dry. are good for each other. I am dry. Let's go live with that life. Come on. Will, will, will you, are, are, you, are you normal? Uh -uh. Will, you, will, you, will you get out of my way? So yeah. Who, who is this one? So we yeah.
Let's get the dollar. I am, I am here to here give you a fair, fair warning. warning. Do not, Do not accept, accept any marriage proposal from anybody. For your, your glory, glory and your doom work, work hand, hand in hand. hand. And, and again, again, do not, not accept any marriage proposal from anybody. Why? 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 Odala, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Help her, help her with the gallon. Oh, no, don't worry, I can carry it. Allow her help you. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're actually going to your place, but thank goodness we met. My princess, you came all the way from Atuma just to see me? Yes. I, I hope everything is fine. Everything is okay. Well, it's a very serious discussion, so we shouldn't be having it on the road. As it pleases you, my princess. This way. Mother, this is the princess of Atuma. Oh. She came all the way to see me. My princess, this is my mother. Greetings, mother. Greetings, my daughter. How are you? Good. You're welcome. Well, your daughter is a nice girl and the girls has blessed her with talent. Thank you, princess. Thank you. Take the water inside. Uh, uh, don't worry, I will take it from here. Thank you, my princess. Eh. No, Mama, leave it. I'll take it in later. Don't worry. Mama. Well, Udala, can we see to the reason I'm here? Okay. Ah. Where is the princess? She's talking with Udala. Okay. You can sit down. Oh, sit down, eh? Come in. Um, if the prince wants to see me, then there is no problem. But I'll have to tell my mother before I leave. Of course, you have to. And we'll live together. The guards will escort you back once you're done with the prince. Okay, my princess. Let me tell her. Calm down. Do not, Do not draw, draw the, attention the attention of your guards, guards. Because, because they can't even see you. The food, the food you desire belongs, belongs to the gods. gods. It, is it is foolishness that, that make a rat, rat engage the cards in a match. match. If you, you want to live, do not call, call for the match. match. Mozi, I adore you. The Holy One. What match are you talking about? And which food belongs to the gods? What do the gods want from me? And can't the gods allow us live our lives without interference?
Greetings, my friends. Greetings, Odala, the beautiful one. As you can see, um, well, we'll be on our way now. See you in the palace, my friends. I'll join you soon. Odala. My friends. Can I have a word with you, please? I do not have much to say to you. I just want you to know how much I like you and how much I want to call you mine. I want to always wake up by your side and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I, ho I hope that's not too much to ask of. Not at all, my prince. Um, I respect you for pouring your heart. It's a good thing. But I'm not on my own. I have a mother. I I would like you to give me some time to think about it. Talk to my mother about it. And then get back to you. You've got all the time in the world to think about this. But when you come to a conclusion, remember, I will be waiting for your reply. Okay, my prince. Now, if you do not mind, can I walk you home? Without your guards, remember they are waiting for you. My guards can find their way back to the palace without me. <laughs> Let me just go. I can go on my own, my prince. I insist. You know I care about you. I care about you more. But tell me, how long are we going to continue this hide and seek game? For sometimes now you refuse me touching you. You don't want to do it. You know, I'm not comfortable. I'm a princess. Yes, I know. Okay. The time is not right. When it comes, I'll tell you. So, when is the time going to be? I don't know. Okay, you have to promise me one thing. Next time we see, we will do it. I can't promise you that. Okay, one thing I'll promise you is, I've known no man. You'll be the first. That's a promise. <clears throat> well, I've heard you. You're the princess of Atuma Kingdom. I will hold you by your word. <laughs> oh, you need to shave. I have no problem with that, okay? Um, so, I want to go. So, your maids, they are watching you. <laughs> okay, just go, just go.
<laughs> Mama, uh -huh. see it. I hope there's no problem. Hey! Mama, you worry so much. There is no problem. Okay, what, what does the prince want from you? What a man wants from a woman. I hope you said yes. Mama, so fast. No, I told him I would get back to him. That's wise of you. Of course. I need to tell you. I need to think about it before getting back to him. You can't just say yes. You did well, my daughter. Yes, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go inside. Where are you coming from without your royal guards? Oh, they are not yet back? Father, I went towards a name hall with them and I left them there for somewhere else, believing that they would use their common sense and return to the palace. Sam, how do you think? That they will return to the palace without the prince. Hey, come. Hi, Prince. Go towards Obunumu and them. You will see the guards there. Tell them I am back to the palace and they should return immediately. Okay, my prince. Father, there is something I want to discuss with you. Really? Yes, my father. Could we sit down for a moment? Oh, that's fine. Thank you. My father, do you still remember the beautiful maiden who came here the other day to dance with her friends? Yes, I, I remember. What about her? Your Highness, I, I like her and I would love to get married to her. <laughs> my son, father, you're a man. <laughs> you have my support. Thank you so much, my father, the king. I've actually talked to her, but she asked me to give her some time to think through it, and she would give me her response. It's natural about women, but do not let your mother know about this. She will put you under pressure. Hmm? Thank you, my father. Father, there is one more thing I I want to discuss with you. You are sitting with me. Father, while I was waiting for the princess to return with Udala from Akeze, Mozi appeared to me and warned me. Mozi admonished me. She told me that the food which I intend to eat belongs to the gods. And she equally cautioned me never to allow myself become the proverbial rat that went into a wrestling duet with the cat. Before I could utter a word, Mosey vanished. This is strange. Hmm. But, but not to worry. I will invite in Buliche 
to come to the palace. Let him demystify the mystery behind the appearance of Mosey to you. Not to worry. I will fix it. Mungu Ninku. Mungu Ninku. So you can retire to your room. Thank you, Father. Mama, hmm? you want more? No, I have not finished this one. It's very strong. <laughs> Adam, Hi, Mama. if truly Mosey appeared to you and warned you not to take any marriage proposal, that means you should be very careful. But Mama, two people are asking for my hand in marriage. The prince and who? Afro Bluzo. Afro Bluzo? Yes, ma'am. God forbid. May the gods forbid. Maybe he's the one the gods are warning you about. How come you never told me that? Eh? Because I, I didn't take I didn't take him serious. Speak no more. Afro Bluzo is the one the gods are warning you about. Yes. Hmm. He is. Okay, Mama. I've heard you. Mm. Mm -hmm. I never knew you can dance like that. <laughs> you are funny. You have not seen anything, no? I dance whenever I am happy. <laughs> but you see today, I dance very well because I was thinking about you. You were thinking of me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Udala, let me tell you something. You are the only maiden I have ever loved in this whole of Akeze clan. 
I want to marry you. I have been singing it like song, but it seems you are not understanding the lyrics. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, do you think I cannot perform as a man? That even go there. Because you see two face. I taught him how to perform, and today is the talk of town. Afro Bluzo. Afro Bluzo. I have so much respect for people. But please do not allow me to lose it. Let today be the last day you ever open your mouth to say you want to marry me. Let it stop. Udala, I want to marry you. Is it too much to ask? I told you before, the gods have ordained us before we were even born. Let the gods forbid evil. Even if it's a cause, let the gods take it away from me. Listen, don't ever follow me about. Stop following me. Stop it. I don't want. Stop it. I can perform. Oh. You can call me a performer. I for blues, I am not joking. I am not laughing. <laughs> I'm not joking too. <laughs> I said stop following me. Stop it. Stop following me. So you think I'm joking? <laughs> you think I'm joking? I will do what you will not like. Oh. I will do what you will not like. Oh. I for blues. Oh. Stop it. Oh. I will scream rape. Oh. I will tell everybody that you want to rape me. Oh. Want me to scream rape? You want to scream? Romantic scream. <laughs> Udala, that is why I love you. <laughs> My baby. <laughs> What is your problem? What is it? Huh? I said stop following me. What is your problem? I will shout though. You are asking me what is my problem. You are my problem now. Why will you shout? Everybody tell this man to leave me alone. Leave me alone now for blues. Or leave me now. If you shout, I will shout too. If you are shouting, eh, hey, I will shout, ooh, then it will be complimentary shout. Look at you. I can't call her now. She's busy. What do you mean busy? Priestess, what can she be doing in the palace? Where she has uh, all these maids doing her shots for her? You see, Hugo, you are my friend. I'm tired of calling, calling, calling the princess. If you love the princess as you claim, come and make your intentions known to the OB. And besides, I don't think the princess will marry you. What do you mean by that? What do you mean? Look, we love each other. And very soon, we get married. Let me even ask you, since you've been studying this hide and seek relationship, have you slept with her? You have a point, but um, she promised me very soon we'll do it. It's a gradual process. <laughs> the princess is just washing your brain. She won't. So you are trying to discourage me because I asked you to call her. Go back to your palace. I don't need you again. Oh, exactly. Go back here. Yeah, I don't need you again. Go back. The princess will not marry me. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, the gods refuse to reveal anything concerning this matter. They seem to be silent. The gods seem to be silent on this matter. Father, this is confusing. I, I do not understand. What food did I eat that the gods are interested in? Uh, Your Majesty. Why did the gods refuse to speak? The gods refuse to speak because they have decided not to speak. My humble advice is that your son has to be very, very careful. Father, you know I'm a very meticulous person and I do not trade on the paths that might lead to destruction. But... Mbulushi, what food do the gods like the most? Blood! Woman! Veg! 
intentions. Um, um, uh, Father, um, at the moment I do not have any woman friend. So I assume uh, that the gods are mistaken or the gods might be confused. How dare you? How dare you, mere mortal, to challenge the gods, to dictate for the gods, to question the gods, to think that the gods are making mistakes? Oh, confused. How dare you, mere mortal? It's obvious that what appeared to you are not the gods. Your majesty would you respect, what do you think they are? What do you think they are if they are not gods? Search within you, you will clear the air soon. Search within you. Serve the land and serve the soul. The way of gods and not the way of man. Serve the land and serve the soul. The way of gods and not the way of man. If you talk your own, they will say their own. We are just like tools in the hands of God. When they talk. And what bothers my brother? The body of a woman is full of sweetness. Yet, Whenever the manhood enters there, it vomits that which is greater than the cricket has entered the cricket's hole. Let us sit. I am not supposed to tell you this, but I know quite well that I can always confide in you. The previous day when you went to Wakeze to fetch Odala for me, Mozi appeared and gave me a stern warning. About what? Mozi told me that the food which I am about to eat belongs to the gods and she severely and severally admonished me to stay away from the food the gods are confused why would they why would they choose that which you desire forget about who appeared to you and what she said. Okay? Calm down. Cheryl. Now tell me. How did it go with Udala? She sounded very positive. Her answer was in the affirmative. But she asked me to give her some time to ponder over my request. Wow. I know she's going to say yes. Because you needed to see the smiles on her face. Like her expression. I could see it when I told her he wants to see her. She was so happy. Oh, Dalla. With her smiles like the radiance of the early morning sun.
what happens when you fail to listen to the voice of the gods. You shall scream and no one will hear you. Blood you shall cry. Finally, until you die a painful death. What sort of dream is this in the daytime? <sighs> and the one in two. Honestly, mother, I don't know. I don't understand. I think we need to seek help. Yes, we need help to understand the warning of the gods. Because I can't continue like this. It was so real. Very real. I even thought I was dying. No, my daughter, you cannot die. Amen. You mean they said I was busy? That's what the God said. That could be when I was discussing with my brother. My brother is in love with Udala. And who is Udala? Oh, she's a beautiful dancer from AKC. Well, that's a good thing. It's a good thing to fall in love. But there's a problem. What's the problem? He said I shouldn't discuss with anyone. Okay, I'm anyone now. <laughs> no problem. I can see you. There's always a reason. You're hey, avoiding me, you refuse hey, us to do hey, it. No, hey. no, that's just, you're a princess, I'm just a common. No, that's not what I'm saying. Okay, fine. He said Mozi appeared to him and warned him to stay away from the food that belongs to the gods. That is strange. Yes, and it has been disturbing him badly. Shouldn't. Maybe the lady will be consult the, the chief priest in Boliche. He will be able to tell what the gods meant by that. That's a good idea. Okay, that's enough. Um, I think uh, we should talk about ourselves now. So, what do you want us to talk about? Uh, the same thing. When are we going to do it? What a fog will be so good for you. But can I know yourself, Bokulo, Gaman or Gubon? That girl that appears to you is a messenger of the gods. She is a messenger of the gods. And I will advise you for your own good. Always listen. To her, obey her words practically. As a more, if Mozi is truly a messenger of the gods, why does she appear to me speaking in parables? And why would she appear in my dream, trying? to snuff the life out of me. As a more, I want you to take my message to the gods. A married woman who is seeking for the fruits of the womb does not go to bed at night, tying a wrapper around her waist. Tell the gods! I will not obey them this time. Tell the gods, I said, they lie. If the gods truly want to speak to me, let them come to me directly and stop sending that stupid, mannerless, useless and foolish messenger, Mosey, to me. How dare you sound unfriendly insult you? How dare you sound so unfriendly, insulting to the gods? Do 
you think you have what it takes to be the next king of Atuma? I am trying to save you, but you are being stubborn. You are, you are trying to save me by making life miserable for me? You are trying to save me by making life unbearable for me? By tormenting me? By taking my peace of mind away? You are trying to save me by coming to my dreams? To give me stress and trauma? Is that how you save someone? You are a foolish, foolish prince. prince. No, eh. No, eh. Which, which, which kind of nonsense only more is this one? Eh? I, I don't understand this kind of only more. All this guy, all this guy, the gods. Now, what's him, Ulu Mili? The gods, no, says you want now. No, eh. The gods. You be like, say, when I don't, they lose God. You see, you were. Eh? To God, where make me an owner? To God, where make me and you? I don't mark your face. To God, I don't mark your face. Are you a mountain, Anna? Mountain, Anna, Kim Oliver. A Please, please don't kill me, please. Please. There are two things you can't run away from. Your death and your shadow. You are never meant to be born. And I'm trying to save you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do now? You've been warned. <laughs> That's exactly what I have been facing. I think it's a warning from the gods. I see same thing. You also face the same thing. My prince, I know you love me so much. But I think we should listen to the voice of the gods. No. I will not listen to the voice of the gods. I will disobey the gods. I will not comply to the demands of the gods. Come to think of it, I strongly believe we are not the ones the gods talk about. Because if the gods truly want to talk to us, they would speak to us in plain language, a language we should understand. That's true. But then, my mother still thinks the gods are referring to Afobuluzo. And who is Afobuluzo? Ah, he's a funny character that claims he loves me and that our marriage has been ordained by the gods even before we were born. Just like you rightfully said, he is a funny character indeed. <laughs> and uh, what are your plans towards him? My plans? <laughs> Please, I don't have any plans with him. <laughs> At this point, I, uh, it's clear to me that he is the one your mother talked about. You feel the same thing? 
Yes, I do. The gods are referring to Afro Blue Yes, they are. <laughs> Father, Doctor Ross, we want to hear what you have to say. Your Highness, my father, the Queen Mother of Atoma Kingdom, my lovely sister, the Princess. I summon to this meeting because I want to introduce someone special, someone so dear to my heart, to the royal household. The person is none other than the beautiful Odala. Odala and I have agreed to get married. Okay. Yeah, please sit down. Thank you, Father. Sit down. So, I'm happy because I know you're a man now. And um, my spirit will be happy wherever I will be. Tomorrow, when I'm gone, you will take care of this kingdom. It's a great indication. Odala. Your Highness. You're welcome to the royal family of Atuma Kingdom. Thank you, Igwe. Do me one favor. I want you to inform your dance group to get prepared. They will perform on your wedding day. Thank you, Igwe. <laughs> it's okay. I will discuss with my family to fix a day we will perform your marriage rite uh, so that everything will fall in place. Thank you, Your Highness. <laughs> Thank you, Princess. Thank you. Well, I decided to pray for that at home. Okay. Uh, at this point, I should be on my way now. Good try. You take care of yourself. Thank you. Father, I do not like the idea of consulting the chief priest. We both know the chief priest is corny, crafty, sly and dubious, and as such, he cannot be trusted. If we invite him to the palace or if we decide to visit him in the shrine, he would end up speaking to us in parables or he might tell us that the gods are silent. I know that Mbluchi is shifting. Still, we need to consult him. He has been our chief custodian for so many years now. We do not need to keep him at an arm's length so that we will not make a mistake. My father, you have the final say. If you decide we consult the chief priest, who am I to question you? Your word 
Your word, Father, is law. The prince and Udala seem to be a perfect match. Yes, the gods brought them together. There's always smiles on the prince's face these days, like he's so happy. So good to fall in love. It's good to be in love, okay? Um, after the prince's marriage, yours will be next. Huh? Yeah. No, mother, I'm not ready for marriage now. Besides, I'm still a small girl. Oh, you're still a small girl. Those big balls. On your chest. They are not for small girls. It is called maturity. So, my princess, get ready. But, mother. Uh -uh. I... No buts. Go ahead and fix her hair. I'm going to take you away from this village, this community. I'll take you to a big city. For a better life, where there's light, where you will enjoy yourself, where there is love. You know I'm the princess. My father won't let me out of this kingdom. The princess, listen to me. You will be the first princess that will live in a big city. When the king wants you, he will send for you. Do not worry yourself. My father is the great Obi of this kingdom. There is no way he will allow you to take me out of this place. He will. Soon, the prince will get married to Udala. So tell me, when exactly do you want me to come over and see your parents? When do you want to come? If you want us to go right now, I'm ready. A lot is on his head now, so let's wait. After the wedding, you come see the king. That is great. Um, before that, I believe we must have done it. Done what? What is wrong with you now? What? For sometimes you'll be promising me and nothing is being done. It's not fair. Before you know it, now you give it to another man. I thought I've given you my word. Hold me by it. I've heard it. Your maids are there. Should I walk you home or sh Brighten up first. Smile. That's a fake one. I want it real. It's not! <laughs> <laughs> Marriage, or you and the entire royal family shall be witness to the tears that is about to rain in that family. And how do you want me? How do you want me to stop the marriage when you always turn your back at me each time I needed you most? You man are always curious about the will of the gods. They fail to follow simple instructions. Instead, they want to know the reason. It is not always like that. Sometimes, just obey an instruction without questioning the reason. Sometimes, just obey the instructions without questioning the reason. Your Majesty, 
The girls are not in support of the marriage between the prince and Udala. I, 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 I knew it. Father, I told you this would happen. Calm down, son. Calm down. Um, Boluchi. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. What is the reason? The girls are so perfect. The girls don't owe anybody any apology, any explanation. They have no reason so far. Excuse me! Get to do the ear the ear. Uh -uh. Why are you always believing this man? This man is fake. Huh? Yes, you're a liar. You don't see anything, anything. You don't hear anything. Are yeah. you calling me this man? What can you say about what? Remember, it was this same man that made us throw our daughter away because of the circumstances surrounding our birth. Ibrahim's woman. Indeed, Obuni Ibuchi, Madaka Musigo. Just get out of this compound. Sebapo. I am the chief priest. You're calling me this man? You're not seeing anything. Father. Eyes of the gods. I told you this man here is dubious. This man is not straightforward. And this man does not hear from the gods. You call me man? Yeah. Uh -uh. You're a woman. Be a chief priest. Be a zemua. No, no, no. Why am I even calling you the chief priest? You are this guy. Huh? You said guy? They are this guy. They Did you call me guy? They are this boy. Oh. You see you, well, you see you. Oh. Mama to God, where make me and you? I don't mark your face. She have a voice or guy. You and your mother are calling me guy. Ha! Excuse me, man. Oh. Leave, leave. Is it hey. the people who you mother guy? Get up, my guy. Go away. Enough. I said enough. Forget it. Forget this man. He's not seeing anything. I'm a He's not near the one, sir. He's not seeing anything, he's not hearing anything from the gods. Yes, I'm more. I see you well. Ma, but to God, where make me and you? I don't mark your face. You see you? I don't mark your face. Oh God. He never wants the best for our family. No, he no, ain't get no, no. Because are the supreme power. Mm, you can challenge the gas. The sea beyond the living. My king. I hate to see you this way. I, you don't have to listen to that like the chief priest anymore. Do not believe any word that comes from his mouth. That man has caused us so much pain. He made us throw away our daughter, saying she was evil, that she was born at a time the day turned night. And because of that, we threw that child into the evil forest. Now he's telling us that the, the prince shouldn't get married. And I see. I know he said all that. I know what he made us pass through. So much pain. But somehow I still believe that uh, it is called by the gods. So, you believe that the gods do not want the prince to get married to Dala? Not sad. I'm just confused. My husband. You should not be confused. You have a personal G. You can talk to him. Whatever it is you seek, you shall find. <laughs> um, something great is coming our way. So, that's why I called us here. I actually called us here for two strong reasons. One, I, Odala, will be getting married to the Prince of Atuma Kingdom. Are you for real? Yes, yes, calm down. Secondly, we, 
wait, wait, wait. Say no, okay, okay, don't out. say it. Okay, okay. Secondly, we will be performing on the marriage ceremony day. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! So, so, so. Oh, no, no. <laughs> okay, okay. That's why we need to practice hard. We yes. need to put more effort because it's close. Yes, sir. it's close. So, yes. can the music come up? Yeah. On it, on it. Just on it. Yeah. <laughs> for coming. Now let me tell you the reason I invited you here to drink with you. You are very nice. I know you don't just invite us here only to drink with you. We all know I will be very well. Hmm? He has something in mind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, please, can we allow him to tell us what he has in mind? Because few people have been drinking before I arrived here. And I saw a keg of palm wine that the guard took out here. And that is a proof that uh, Waobi has something good for us. So, can you leave Can you leave You are alright. Yes, the reason I invited all of you to drink with me is very simple. Soon, my son, Prince Azubike, we've been getting married to a very beautiful maiden from Akeze. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good news. Oh, yeah, Keji, why are you? He has come of age. Mukolo Abunosia. When a tiger comes of age, he no longer drinks milk, drinks blood. Your Highness, we are all with you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, any more questions? Uh, Obi, uh, I hope you have examined the guy, most especially the family background. Ogasi, go. I have no That is taken care of. Uh, of course, you know me. I, I make no mistake. <laughs> All right, so we we'll continue with our drink. I cannot join. God! <laughs> Oh, yeah. Morning. Morning. As a more, our people have a saying that when a father beats a child with the right hand, he draws him back with the left. As a more, I have sinned against you and against the gods of the land. The last time I was here, I sounded so rash towards you and have come to tender my sincere apology. Please do find it in your heart to forgive me. Prince Azubike, I like you. And I will be happier if you can always listen to my words. I have forgiven you already. As a more now that you have forgiven me, please, I implore you, can you help me consult the gods of the land? Can you help me inquire from them why they do not want me to get married? to Odala, the woman after my own heart. My dear prince, 
stay away from that girl. Don't get married to that girl. Don't ever get married to that girl. Because if you do, there will be blood and tears. Blood and tears. Tears and blood in the palace. Tears and blood beyond the palace. Tears and blood throughout the kingdom. Tears and blood that everyone in the kingdom will be a witness to. And that will mean the double crime. Double crime. Crime against humanity. Crime against the gods. Tears and blood. Witnesses to tears. Crime. What crime are you talking about, Ezemua? Oh, the gods are not specific about the crime. But for your own good, I warn you. Call off that marriage. That will not be possible, Ezemua. My father, the king, has already informed the council of elders and the indie chairs of the land, and the date has been fixed for the traditional marriage. It is not late, my prince. Even the gods want me to cancel that marriage. The gods want me to destroy that marriage. So, call it off. If the gods of the land cannot stop the traditional marriage, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are to look me in the face with such impudence and tell me you will stop my traditional marriage? As a more, I, Prince Azubike, do not enter the house of a widow with fear in my eyes because I know where her husband is. Whatever you think that is Beating the Ichaka for you is equally beating the Ikoro for me. As a moor, stay away from Surugede. Na Surugede, be wunde moor. Ke manka, e mankozo, mungu ninku. Guards, as you claim, you know where the ghost van stays. Do you know what killed the husband of that widow? <laughs> you stand on the board of the gods and talk rubbish. You mere mortal, stand on the board of the gods to talk nonsense. Legs might be seen going. Legs will never be seen returning. <laughs> Mm, you can challenge the gas. They see beyond the living. Uh, mm, you can challenge the gas. Again, in a man. Save the land, save the soul. Save the land, the way of gas and not the way of man. Save the land, save the soul. You have the right. right. To make, make a, choice. a choice. Good, Good or, bad. or bad. Crime, Crime and punishment are twins of the same destiny. destiny. The crime the against, against mankind, mankind and the and crime, crime against, against the gods, gods attract even punishment. punishment. It, it is, is foolish, foolish to contest, contest the gods. gods. Messenger of the gods. What do the gods want from me? What do the gods want from the prince of Atuma kingdom? Like, like I, I said, said before, before, you are you a are foolish, foolish prince. prince. And 
like I said, the two. You are a a, a foolish messenger. No, eh? I don't understand this kind of this kind of messenger of the gods. I don't even know if if you're an adult or or a baby messenger. In fact, this one. This one is a courtist in the land of the gods. A, 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 a militant. You see, you were. Well, but to God, where make me and you? To God, where make me and you and the gods? I don't mark your face, to God. Nah, eh? I don't even know that in the land of the spirits and the uh, and the, in the land of the gods they, they have courtists too. Uh, uh, and the gods, I know you can hear me anywhere you are. If you want to send a messenger to me, send a normal human being. Send a gentle person. Stop, stop sending courtists to me. Nah, eh? What do I even follow? Because of the supreme power, mm, you can challenge the gods. They see beyond the living. Uh, mm, you can challenge. Son, what is it? Father, I. I am just coming back from Bulichi's shrine. I am confused. What did he say? Father, he said there would be blood and tears if I should get married to Udala and we all shall be witnesses to the tears he equally said the gods asked him to stop the marriage this is ridiculous the gods asked him to stop the marriage father I knew he was lying I looked into his eyes all I could see was the eyes of a man who has never known honesty all his life. All I could see were the eyes of a man who has whined and dined and lived all his life in falsehood. My father, you are the king. The gods of the land love you and they listen to you. Uh, I suggest you consult your personal chi. Make sacrifices to him. I am of the opinion that that is the only way to solve all these problems. Father, the body of a woman is not a river. Yet, when a man enters there, he comes out with water, plenty of water. Consult your chi, and this problem will be solved. Set the land and set the soul. The way of God and not the way of man. Set the land and set the soul. The way of God and not the way of man. Oh, your majesty, you are here. Greetings. Give your stupid greetings to yourself and to your gods. Listen to me. I don't want to see you anywhere close to my family again. Stop deceiving my husband and my son. Yes! It was because of you we lost our first child. We kept her in the evil forest for her to die. No thanks to your your stupid advice do not come close to us i don't want to remember that story stay away from us 
May the gods bear me witness. This time, this day, that I never lied to you. Whatever I said, were the words of the gods. I said to you, to His Majesty, the things I heard, the things I saw, I never lied, I never deceived you. Neither did I deceive His Majesty. I'm happy you're not deaf. I'm glad you heard me. Do not come to the palace again. If you do, you won't like what I'll do to you. Went to Akeze and conquered. <laughs> we concluded the marriage right over there. Yes, the result of our journey to Akeze is the smile on these faces. Oh. <laughs> Your Highness. I mean, I don't know what my family would have done if not for your support. I thank you once again. Oh. I have one request to make. I want the future queen of Atuma Kingdom to take the stage with her friends. I want her to display the skill that caught my son some time ago. Your oh. Highness. <laughs> with all pleasure, Your Highness. Music. <laughs> obvious that the waist mm -hmm. is what actually attracted the prince and I have every belief that sooner or later he is going to damage it or, or boost her. <laughs> hey, I'm so ashamed that I thought chiefs like you could utter words like that. I know that our obi did not force that trick on you. Mm. But let me warn both of you. Let me warn both of you. We are still on the road. Control yourselves. Control yourselves, so. Odogu? What kind of a question? Are you trying to tell me that you did not see that Udara waist? Uh, or is it not qualified for a man to use to relax himself after a very hard day's job? No, I'll see, Mega. Are you still now telling us that uh, the priest will not damage the waist at no distant time? Is that what you are insinuating? I'm asking you. Mm. Tell okay, okay, no, 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 I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have added one leg. Plus the head. Both of you are crazy. You have to tell it. Say it. crazy. Oh, crazy. 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 No, no. Is it because of, because of this guy? Yeah. 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 I am going to. It's that very day, if after. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Don't mind him. The foolish man. Don't mind him. Man. <laughs> Serious. My love, it was so successful. Yeah. You missed. You needed 
to have seen the way Udala was dancing. Like, I picked some steps from her. Really? Yes. Well, I'm, I'm happy for the prince. Um, uh, may the gods bless the union. You see? What was that? <laughs> I think I'm ready to do it now. So, I'll follow you home. So, we'll go do it. Are you serious? <laughs> But I have tried. I have tried. But the humans are always curious. Very curious about the ways of the gods. They want to know everything about the gods, which is not possible. And now, the gods are angry. And the gods, gods we have afflict the royal, royal family. family. And, and yes, yes shall, shall be blood, blood and, and tears. Yes. I have tried. Honestly, I have tried. And I, I still plead that the gods show mercy. May the gods show mercy. The, the gods, gods only, only show, show mercy, mercy if, if they, they will not have, have carnal knowledge. knowledge. Yes, yes, if they if will, will not, not make love. love. What, what, what are you talking about? How? What, what, is it possible? Or how can it be possible that a newly married couple will not make love to each other? How? how? I, I am in trouble. I am in trouble. I'm in a big trouble. Very big trouble. This one, the princess asked us to go back to the palace. I smell something fishy here. Yeah. Uh -uh. I don't understand. Maybe they want to go and do what? Eh? Do what? This is not the first time. Thing, you've been dating for so long. You don't know, Sha. She's conny conny. Maybe she has been uh, starving that guy now. Don't understand. Uh -uh. She well, it's none of her are. business. It's her choice. I'm very, very happy. I wish them the best of luck. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to say to me. I'm like, let's. Welcome to my house, my key. What? Let me open the door so we can go inside. I don't want to do it again. Why? I feel it's wrong. I've changed my mind. But you said we should just come home and do it. Why sudden change of mind? I don't know. I just don't want to do it. Oh my God. Princess, are you seeing someone else? May the gods forbid. You are the only man in my life. I swear by the gods, I will never cheat on you. Come and see me off.
to make to the gods Odala. This is not fair, this is too bad. Hey, you have not only disappointed me, but you have disappointed the gods also. A woman with protruded Botox thinks she is blessed by the benevolent spirits until a heavy rainfall starts in the marketplace and she finds it difficult to run. If Odala was destined to be your wife from birth, like you said, the gods themselves would have arranged that. Pepe Met! Puff Puff! Look at this unfortunate thing that cost itself a prince. Who invited you to, into this conversation? What did you come to Atima Kingdom to do? Uh, uh, my love, I came to look for you. I was told you got married today without my consent. This is God of a prince got to steal you from me! This is too bad, huh? Is it because he's a prince? We are meant for each other. I, I met him. I was supposed to be your husband. A for police. The prince did not steal me. I accepted because I love him. And please, you need to go back to Akeze Kingdom. Because Never. I am now a married woman. Never, I'm not please going stop stalking me. Stop following me about. Stop it. I am married. I'm not going anywhere. I must, you, I, I must take you home. You must doubt me. Go, no, let's go. Let's go. Mabulu no onya tufu 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 onya Why did you stop? You're almost at the palace, you can go. My love, I know you're angry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, there's a final promise. When next we meet, we are going I'm to do it. I'm tired of your promises, please. Whatever you want to do, just do it, okay? You know I've not done it before. I, I know it's painful. It, 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 it's, You've not done it before, and it's painful. How do you know? Believe me, I, I'm sorry. Greetings, Your Majesty. Bolice, you're welcome to my palace. To what do I owe this visit? A message from the gods. A message from the gods? What message from the gods? The gods are angry with the marriage between the prince and Udala. But the gods can Concerning the marriage between the prince and Udala. The gods may have mercy if they can abstain from sexual act. If they can stay without making love to each other. The gods can tolerate. Otherwise... Uluche. Uluche. Your Majesty. Are you sick in the head? Are you truly 
hearing from the gods. How could the gods be this insolent? That a man and a woman who are happily married should abstain from sexual act? Are the gods going beyond us? Leave my palace before I get it hot with you. Out of my palace! I will leave your father to my just but the ways of the gods are not the ways of men. This Mbulite is mad indeed. Father, calm down. Like you rightly said, he is mad. The problem is not from the gods but him. You don't have to listen to every word that comes from his mouth. Serve the land and serve the soul. The way of God and not the way of man. When will you stop pushing me around? When? When will you stop pushing me around? The king thinks I am crazy. Everyone doubts me. No one believes I see or hear anything from the gods. Not even one soul believes one single word that comes out of my mouth. Why are you punishing me? Why? Humans are obstinate in nature. They question the will of the Creator. But they have forgotten that they are just tools in the hands of the Creator. If the Prince should have any sexual experience with her, then nothing can stop their doing. There you go again. Again! Am I not confused? Am I not confused now? We are just like tools in the hands of gods. When they talk, we oh, are listen to Listening. What if the princess or the queen sees you? I was knocking on her son's room, but I didn't get any response. And I said, don't get yourself worked up. Have you forgotten last night was their first night together? Oh. They must have been as hostile. It's natural. Do you still remember the time? 
our first night together. <laughs> so. I must forget. Um, I know they will be very tired and hungry by the time they wake. Let me go and tell the maid what to prepare for them. Good idea. Excuse me. So Odala went to marry the prince. Eh? And then we say whatever gods are joined together, let no man put asunder. The prince has put asunder, and nobody is even doing anything about it. And the king can even call for, for a palace meeting to resolve this issue. Just like that. The king is not even doing anything about it. Is it because it's his son? And they will say the gods are not to blame. Me, I'm blaming the gods. Oh. I am blaming the gods. Hmm. Ah. I've not felt like this before ever in my life. My Odala. My only joy in this whole community. They have taken it away from me. Enemies of progress. Hmm. If I go to Atuma, I'll come back. The priest will hear it. They think I'm a weakling. <laughs> I am not. I am not a weakling. Useless people. Fear. Fear. Aludara does not even want to listen to. And I have showered all my love on her. Later they will say love is blind. Eh? How can love remain blind like that? It's not possible. Beware, the press is a thief! about your stupid love for Odara. But as you can see, you have lost her. She's now married to my son. Eh? So go. Hmm? Go. When you get out there, look for someone like you. Get married to that person. That person will agree. Young man, you said your name is uh, Afro Blozo. You came all the way from Akeze this morning to accuse my son of stealing uh, what, 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 did, what was his claim again. Now, listen to me. If you are drunk, here is not a place to practice your tomfoolery. Now, leave. Ah! I go now here without my Udala. Ah! I will conspire! Violence. Violence. You have not seen anything. I am going now here. I am not leaving. Come on, give me a note. Oh, you are coming me. Yeah, you are coming me. Some way of man. If you talk your own, they will set your own. Obi, hey, you have done it again. No problem. Give some party evil. Give some party evil. Just to look for a married woman. Hey, you've lost it all. Hey, you should be ashamed of yourself, Afro Blues. You should be very, very ashamed of yourself. Hey, hey, hey. Maria, or whatever they call you. I have told you before. Okay, what if we, I even agree to, to start and uh, do something with you? Where do you think I will start from? Eh? Because 
everything I'm seeing before me now is nothing but a vulture. And you want me to come and be wasting my waste upon a vulture? Hey. That can never happen. Hey, Alpha Bulusa, if I am a vulture, what are you? What are you? You are a dead skeleton. Look at me, a vulture. I want to manage a dead skeleton. You are there. You are there running your mouth. Alpha Bulusa, see eh? Come, let's go and tie the knot. Oh. Maria. Come, let's go and tie the knot. Maria. Hey. Maria, I know you are already frustrated. But let me advise you. You see the whole of this community and beyond. Nobody will ever agree to marry you. The only places where they can manage you is Ekwesa or Ibilo community. Where you get there, as of Aloji, Polygon, or even Marodiko. I believe with this report of mine, I have been able to confuse you and not to convince you that you and I are not meant for each other. You and I we are not meant for each other. You and I can never be meant for each other, and you and I will never be meant for each other. You confuse me, oh. You confuse me. You did not convince me. You confuse me because, see, we must go and marry, whether you like it or not. Eh, 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 Maria. We must go and marry. Maria, you are going to eh, eh. provoke me. You are already provoked. Oh. Because if I pan beat you, you will see yourself in mortuary. You are already provoked. You are already provoked. Maria, leave me alone. I was not the one that provoked you. you were Maria, leave me alone. From that side of this place, God, let's marry. Maria. We must marry you. Oh. Leave me alone, Maria. Maria, you should die instead marry me. Oh. Hey. That man is crazy. So he left Akeze this morning to this kingdom just to look for somebody's wife. Do not let that bother you. It's right. obvious that that young man is psychologically maladjusted. It's obvious. It is. I don't know. Your Majesty, I don't know if I should wake the prince and Udala. They are still sleeping and their food is ready. They're still sleeping? Yes. Go ahead and wake them up. They must have had enough sleep. All right. I think I will have to synchronize the dots. Mm -hmm. I must be under my screen. What is What is it? are the supreme power. You can challenge the gas. They see beyond the living. You can challenge the gas. It is only the gods that can afflict a man like this. What wrong have they done to allow this type of ailment? I see Nelo painting. I I think we should go and talk to Mbuluche. No, I do not want Mbuluche to come here. He's the cause of everything. What do you mean? He's the cause of everything. Mbuluche said that uh, the gods are against the marriage. When I sought to know the reason, he said the gods refused to say something about it. Oh no. You should have listened to the voice of the gods. Mbuluche has been the eye of the gods for years. You should have listened to him. Going by what you just said, I think only the gods can do something like that. Why? Why? What, what have we done? Maybe there are reasons they shouldn't be together. They didn't state any reason. They didn't say it. You see one thing, eh? We are toys in the hands of the gods. They manipulate us to their own advantage. They control us. That's just the fact. Why my brother and his wife? I wish the gods are not against us too. Why would you say a thing like that? Maybe they are manipulating you. We've known for a very long time, yet you refuse me touching you. From one reason to the other, from one excuse to the other. The gods has nothing to do with my decision. They are not manipulating me. My love. 
I love you so much. I love you so much that even the gods cannot separate us. They can't change what I feel for you. I've heard you. Now you have seen the truth. In the end, the gods are supreme. The truth, the gods are supreme. Serve the land and serve the soul. The way of gods and not the way of man. Do not, do not touch, touch their, their bodies. bodies. Do, do not, not do, do anything. anything. It, it is, is their, their destiny. destiny. They were for one, one. one. but they thought God sat crazy. crazy. Serve the land and serve the soul. The way of God and not the way of man. Serve the land and serve the soul. The way of God and not the way of man. If you talk your own, they will say their own. We are just like tools in the hands of God. When they talk, oh, they will listen. Your Majesty, I warned you, but you refused to listen. Her Majesty insulted the gods. Her Majesty insulted me. Buluje, we are sorry. But the question I'm asking is this. What crime did they commit? What crime did they commit against the gods? Your Majesty, they are same blood. The gods revealed that they are same blood. But I don't know how possible that is. Wait a minute. Are you saying that Odara is my daughter? Somehow, yes. First, I need to see her mother. I need to see the last mother. For we have to find out if actually had something to do with her in the past. No, that never happened. I, I only got to see her the day we went there for my son's marriage. Just what are you talking about? In that case, you have to send for her. Send for her, Your Majesty. Send for her right away. Send the land and save the soul. The way of God and not the way of man. Send the land and save the soul.
Good day, ma. Good day. How are you? Fine, ma. The OB of Atuma wants to see you immediately, ma. The OB? I hope there's no problem. No problem, ma. Okay, wait, I'm coming. I ask you a very simple question. Answer me. Don't lie. If you dare lie, the gods will strike you down here and now. Tell me, are you truly the biological mother of Udala? What is this all about? Answer the question, woman. I am her mother. But... I did not give birth to her. I picked her up in the bush. That very day. How she became my daughter. Obi, can you still remember what happened the very day your first daughter was born? Your Highness, congratulations. She's a girl. Oh, oh she's so beautiful. <laughs> May the gods be praised. You see. How is my wife? They are cleaning her up inside. Right. Mm. Right. What is 
is going on? A sudden darkness in a broad daylight? That's all about sudden darkness in daylight. I think the gods are sending a message. The sudden darkness is a message from the gods. I would like to see you and Anasi in private. Oh, take her in. Oh, be careful, be careful. If I did not hear, I won't say. I know this is going to be hard for you, but you have to obey the words of the gods. This child came with a lot of evil. She's a messenger, and she has to be taken back to the gods. If she lives among mankind, she will bring tears to the royal home. A tear that you won't leave to cry. So what are you saying exactly? She has to be taken to the evil forest and be left for dead. That is her destiny. It is obvious the child was not killed. The guard did not kill that child. AGJ picked up the child, nurtured her, and finally, what we wanted to avert was not averted. I'm, I'm so sorry. I know I, I insulted you. I, I called you names. I'm sorry. But please, how do we stop the problem? Have you seen how loving and kind the gods are? Your Majesty. The gods asked me not to touch them, not to do anything, anything. Who could have believed that? Oh, that is your sister, your blood, the first princess of this kingdom. It's still a shocking revelation to us. So, what is the solution now? What are they saying? Mbuluche said that the ghost instructed him not to touch them or do anything. Are they just going to allow them to die? Just like that? The ghosts are not being fair to us. They're not being fair to us at all. And what kind of exchange are you talking about, if I may ask? The gods God demand the princess to be sacrificed, sacrificed to them. She has, she has not known any man. man. And she and is the person the God, God wants. Why, why, why must the girls subject me to this kind of hard task? Very, very hard task. Why? Why? Uh, how can I go to the Obi to tell him that the princess is required by the girls to be sacrificed in an exchange for the lives of the prince and Udala? How can I do that? How can I do that? A very hard task. 
The princess. The princess to be sacrificed in an exchange for the lives of Udala and the prince. A hard task. What, what can, can you give, give in exchange, exchange for, for the, the life, life of the, of the prince, prince and, and your daughter? daughter? I will give just anything for the lives of my children. Good. Good. Send, Send for, for the chief, chief priest. priest. He, has he has a message, a message for, you. for you. And it, and has, it has to, to be, be done, done before, before the, the next, next three days, days. Or, or they will die. die. The way of cars are not the way of man. If you talk your own, they will say their own. Are... Mm. And I warned them they didn't listen. Die. Now just see, just look at. The priest is a brother. <laughs> uh, Odalam. I blame the priest. If Udala dies, what will become of me? I pray the priest die. Priest will die and Udala will stay for me. <laughs> no one is dying. <laughs> I hear crying. I told you that Udala is married. You will not listen. See? The both of us are meant to be. The gods ordained the two of us to be together, but you will not listen. You are here crying over Udala. Maria! She's married though. Maria! Leave her alone. Come and marry me. I am your real wife from the beginning of the earth. I don't know why you are dying may, may because the, of... May the gods punish that your mouth for saying that. The gods will not punish me. Oh. See, Maria, leave here and leave me alone. See, the if gods, they sent you, tell me you did not see me. The gods will not punish me. You know why? Because the mm. gods know that I want the best for you. I am your best. Look at me now, from head to toe. Are you not look? Wait, look wait, at you Maria. and look at me. Wait, 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 Maria. Uh -uh. You talk too much. That is your number one problem. Is it that? Is it that you don't have mirror at all? Why? Why do you think two of us can go together? Ah, because you are like this and I am like this. We are meant to be. You cannot follow. Uta. Maria, be careful. I stay away from me. For what? I if, I, not, if I lose I my anger, stay away. Is the both? She is the one. Come you are hurting me! Let's go and wait. We must wait. Maria, leave me alone! We must wait. Oh. I am not your mentor. Two of us together forever. Ah. One, we Did are I one. send you? Uh-uh. You are here crying over Udala that is married. Just, Why are we are dying for you? Look at this double incarnate. Have, have you seen that kind of a thing before? Come, let's go and marry. We must wait. Will, will you leave me alone? Leave you See, if alone. You, if, you, if you break my waist, I will, st I will say package it and give it to Udala. No, you're if you lie, like, break it or two. It is for Udala. Good day, my chief priest. Yes, good day. How are you doing? I'm fine, sir. His Majesty wants your presence in his palace now. His Majesty needs my presence in his palace now? Yes, sir. Good. I am already on my way to the palace. So, let's go. Go, 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 go. Let's go. Mbulicho. Your Majesty. Do not lie to me. She had told me that you would come with a message. Yes, she is right. Here I am with a message. A message from the gods. But I'm sure you wouldn't want to hear the message. The decision is not yes. I can go all out for the lives of my children. Speak. The gods demand an exchange. Life for life. The gods demand a virgin, and a virgin be sacrificed. And the princess is a virgin, and it is the princess that the gods demand. No one else.
Since this thing has happened like this, I suggest we sacrifice the princess. Since the prince and other are your children, how do you think that the princess will just come at and offer herself for sacrifice just like that? Look, well, we look at that crack. It's not quite new. Is there no other way? I mean, can't we find another way to appease the gods rather than blood sacrifice? But you just say that the gods wants the princess for an exchange. Hmm. But you just say. How are we sure that after the sacrifice, both the prince and Odala will be okay? Only I just measure two times and cut to one so. Well, <clears throat> the gods have the final say. We have to believe in the gods. But the gods are wise. To us. Mm -mm. If giving my life for an exchange we save the life of my brother and my sister. I will gladly do. No, my princess. You don't have to sacrifice yourself. No one is going to die. There must be another way. What if there is no other way? There must be another way. I don't know if the king is still with the chiefs. You need to speak with him. Please, my princess. My prince. You and Udala were a perfect match. But never knew you were blood. I can't watch you die. <laughs> I can't bear seeing you like that. My princess, no one is going to die. If given my life, will bring you back. I will gladly die for you to live. But always remember that I love you. Always remember that your kid sis gave her life for you too. No. No, my princess. There must be another way to this. No one is going to die. I believe the kid is still with the You need to speak with her, my princess. Please. Please, my princess. If you talk your own, they will set your own. We are just like tools in the hands of gods. When they talk... Where is the princess? I don't know where she went to. She just left. The queen wants her. Then tell the queen she just left. How can the princess leave the palace without the maid and none of us know where she went to? Do you want me to follow her when she doesn't want to be followed? Problem. Calm down. Just talk to me. Calm down. Why are you crying? I love you so much, Hugo. I, I, I know, I know. I you love, love you so much. What is the problem, Hugo, I love you so what, much. Is, is the prince okay? What's the problem? Talk to me. What's the problem? It's okay. You see? I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. And I don't want you to feel lonely. What are you saying? Talk to me. What is the problem? I wish to see you again.
not in the palace. What do you mean by that? Um, my, my colleague says she left the palace. What is it? She just informed me that the princess left the palace without her maids. So, where did she say she was going? Your Majesty, the prince and Udala just woke up. Hey! Hey! And what is going on here? What happened? The princess had not done it. Done what? She has sacrificed herself. Your Majesty, I'm sorry that I lied. The princess told me she was going to see him today. Why? The princess sacrificed her life for both of you to leave. Why? Odara. Both of you are blood. You were afflicted before. Odala, you are my daughter that was thrown into the evil forest until Ejije picked you up. That is the reason the gods are against your marriage in the first instance. Guys! Uh, will, will they blame me for this? No! No, no one, one can blame, blame you. And, and no, no one, one will blame, blame the gods. gods. Oh, you 
encontrarte 